Welcome back on this Monday morning. The William Boniface Fine Arts Center is a friendly spot in Escanaba where you can tour gallery exhibits, participate in art workshops, learn something new in the educational classes, and enjoy theatrical productions. This morning, TV6's bureau reporter Patty Mulligan joins us live from the Boniface Fine Arts Center for a preview of some of their exciting exhibits. Good morning, Patty. That's right. Good morning, Vicki. I'm here at the Boniface Arts Center in downtown Escanaba, which is having an amazing exhibit going on right now, left over from SG 150, but it continues on through to the end of this week, and it focuses on Escanaba's maritime history. And I have here with me Molly Larson, the director of the Boniface Arts Center. Good Molly, morning. Good morning. Could you tell us a little bit more about the exhibit? Well, this is truly an exciting thing, and it's been a year-long process in getting us to do it. We started out a whole year ago reaching out into the community and asking them to bring in pictures of um, some of our local artists throughout the past oh, 50 to 75 years. And then when those came showering in from everybody's home, uh, we had to take them and classify them and organize them and build a story around them. And so Places and Faces is our celebration of Escanaba's history. And it, it goes not just maritime, although it's pretty cool upstairs where we have a giant ship wheel and a, the big helmet from a diver and really cool artifacts for it. Um, but it, it looks at our downtown and at our neighborhoods and at important things like the logging industry as well as the maritime industry. Um, and, and it's truly evocative. People are coming through and leaving and saying, oh, I got to come back and bring my mom or I got to bring my sister because we remember when we ice skated at the Ruth Butler. It's just a wonderful, wonderful exhibit. That's right. And there's also artifacts here too, not just paintings, but there is a desk over here from an old business school. And it's, it's really, really very interesting. There's, there's just a lot to look at. You can walk around and you can go upstairs. It's a very, quite a large exhibit. And uh, we'll be back later with more on the exhibit. I'm Patty Mulligan, live in Escanaba. TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Patty, and, and welcome back. Well, the Boniface Art Center in Escanaba has an exhibit of community art showing original artwork depicting places and faces from Escanaba's rich history. The exhibit has run throughout the summer, paying homage to the city of Escanaba, celebrating its sesquicentennial this year. And that is where TV6's Patty Mulligan is this morning to tell us more about the exhibit. Patty? Good morning again. We're here in downtown Escanaba at the Boniface Art Center. And right now we are focusing on some of the paintings from Escanaba's rich downtown history. And you can see this, this is a painting, it was done in 1961, but it, it, it's picturing the way the street looked, Main Street, in 1882. And this fascinates me. I love, I love old America Main Streets, downtowns. And can you tell, tell us a little bit about some of the businesses of long ago that are still in business today? Well, you know what's amazing is, in fact, there are several businesses downtown that um, have been around for over 100 years. Um, maybe not since 1882. But TNT Hardware was there when I was a kid. Sakely's has been there for over 100 years. There have been a couple of pharmacies that are still around from, from the 60s and the 50s. So there's lots of businesses that are still downtown that were there in its heyday in the 60s and 70s. Right. And uh, what are some of your memories of spending time downtown? Well, you know, um, Downtown Escanaba is a special place, and I grew up, I'm going to give a lot away here, but I grew up in the 60s, and that was the heyday of downtown. There were two grocery stores, there were two uh, movie theaters, there were two or three furniture stores, there were hardware stores, everything anybody needed was in downtown Escanaba, and that was the place to go. And, and Every Friday, everybody who lived on a farm or lived out of town came in town to shop, and it was alive. The cars were lined, the streets were lined with cars, people were there. I only lived about four blocks away, and we would watch all the ladies walk from their homes to downtown to do their shopping every day and to come back. The 60s was the time for a downtown yeah, to thrive. By the time the 70s came, um, we were starting to develop 
out on the highway. My sister went to work at the um, mall when it was first built in the early 70s. My nephew went to work in the first fast food place in the early, late 70s. So as that, mm -hmm. as that um, highway corridor began to be developed, then the downtown began to die. And that was a very, very typical kind of thing that was happening in that, all over the country in that time frame. Big boxes, suburbia, all of that was taking away from the downtown. Escanaba is incredibly lucky. We have this downtown that's 22 blocks long, but even today, it's got well over 200 businesses yeah. and very, very it's few, still quite busy. very few vacancies with a lot of people working downtown. Mm -hmm. So it's different. It's mm -hmm. not retail. It's more of a professional center. It's more business now than it was uh, when we grew up. But this is cool because here you have a picture by Clarence Morrow, who's done lots. Of, we've got several of his pictures here looking at horse and buggies and up here in this was maybe 30 years later we've got the old um, tram line going wow. down because we had we had this tram that went up and down oh, Ludington wow. Street for years and years so wow. you can with him he specialized in watercolors and in doing all these old pictures so you can see a progression as you go through you can see a lot of progression of history okay and we will be back more a little bit later live in Escanaba Patty Mulligan TV 6 News all right thank you very and much welcome back. well the William Boniface Arts Center in Escanaba displays the history of the city and also serves as an outlet for local artists from art festivals to elementary school field trips the art center gives all ages an opportunity to satisfy their fine arts taste buds this morning TV 6's Patty Mulligan is checking out the art center and joins us again with more Patty Hi, I'm Patty Mulligan. I'm here at the Boniface Arts Center in downtown Escanaba, and I have with me here the executive director of the Boniface Arts Center, Mon Molly Larson. Hi, Kate. Hi, hi, Molly. And we are here talking about the rich maritime history that is Escanaba, the reason why so many people came to live in Escanaba. And tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's very cool. Escanaba was really founded because we have this incredible port, deep water port, safe port, so there were lots and lots of ships. And in the early 1800s, there weren't cars or trucks, so everything went out by ship and came in by ship or rail. And so Escanaba's port was well known for its um, uh, iron ore and lumber. We sent lots of lumber down to Chicago and we sent lots of iron ore. And this is a cool painting that really depicts what was going on. This is the Nahat and it was painted once again by Clarence Morrow in the 1960s. And this picture sat at the Granada Bar for 20 years gathering smoke and everything else and it was um, taken down and restored. This ship burned in the 19, early 1900s, 1907, something like that, and it is sunk and right outside of Escanaba's Harbor. So it is there right now today for uh, divers to go down and see. But it's very representational of the um, commercial maritime life that was going on in Escanaba, what, what got us started. Iron ore and lumber, getting it to and from and everything else. And so that is a big part of our exhibit. We have stuff upstairs, we have stuff downstairs that really highlight um, our yacht harbor and our shipping and our connection to the water. Um, for somebody who may not have lived um, in an area where there was a lot of water, you come here and we have a connection to water. We can't help it, especially in Escanaba with our gorgeous harbor and everything. So um, we have a lot of pictures of that. You know, one of the coolest things about this exhibit is we sent out an SOS to everybody in town to send us pictures, to send us history, and we got lots in. And Pasqua Worsler, who's our gallery director, mm -hmm. took all of those disparate pieces and created this story of Escanaba over the last 150 years. It is incredible. And people coming in and visiting have just been amazed. They walk in and they see something and it evokes a memory and they go out and they say, I gotta get my mom or I gotta bring my sisters in. So it's been an incredible experience to have and it's only gonna be up for just a little bit longer. Right, and it really is wrapping up the end of SK 150. Well, SK 150 was a two week event, but this exhibit is 
still very much part of ASCII 150, and it wraps up this week. You can come down to the Boniface Arts Center and see the exhibit through the end of this week. So be sure that you can catch it. It is absolutely fabulous. It's on two floors. And that's it. That wraps up our, our Boniface Arts Center visit for this morning. And live in Escanaba, I'm Patty Mulligan, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Patty. It sounds like a great place to check out. And your TV6 morning show will be right back.